Hey there! So today I'm going to be doing a review on this Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Rice Protein Complex. That's all fancy talk for a foundation. So um, this is a new foundation. See by the fancy new sticker? Ooh, so much fun. Well, this came out like a couple months ago, like one to two months ago maybe. And Neutrogena launched a Shine Control um, line, and it came out with foundations couple primers and a shine control powder. I actually have the shine control powder in my freelancing kit and people love it whenever I use it on them. I don't have it personally. I don't know why, but um, it's an amazing powder overall. Like I can't say personally for my personal use, but when I use it on my clients, it's amazing. Okay, so um, I may go get me some. Anyways, this foundation, I'm going to say right off the bat, is like average to good. It's not a bad foundation, but it's not over the top fantastic. Um, it's not like all your worries of oil and shine control are gonna go away like forever because it's not. You know, that's this is one of those things. Maybe you have to use the primer, foundation, and powder all together to really lock in that shine control. So I'm gonna say this retailed for like fourteen dollars where I got it. It was fourteen dollars at Ulta. Um, so it's kind of a pricier drugstore foundation. I mean, that's like the same amount that the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Makeup was. Um, and honestly, I like that better. I mean, that's like one of my all-time faves now. But, you know, okay. So this is an average size foundation. It's one ounce. Comes in an okay range of colors. I, I can't say right off the top of my head, maybe eight, ten colors. Um, it's, again not fantastic because this is the lightest shade uh, and this will not go for some of the palest people and then I'm sure they don't you know think of the darkest people so I just I have a pet peeve about that with a lot of foundation lines um, but it's an okay range the difficulty I had was I wasn't sure if this would even work on me because I'm gonna compare right now this is my Maybelline fit me foundation which I love so much not for lasting power but how it looks and feels on me. I mean, I just love this foundation. I've loved it for months now. Um, this is kind of what I compare all foundations I'm going to buy to because this is a really good match for me. Um, it has a little yellow undertone, which I have, and it's light enough. And if anything, if it's too light, bronze it up. So I compare every foundation to this when I'm in a drugstore. So as you can probably tell, this one looks slightly darker and slightly more orange. So I was a little worried, but I was like, well, this is slightly light on me anyway, so why not just give it a shot? So I did, and I'm glad I did, because it actually matches me pretty well. I will say that this one still matches me the best, but this one's not bad. I don't look orange. I don't look like Snooki when I wear this foundation. It looks pretty natural on me. So um, I don't look orange. Um, it's just slightly, slightly darker, but I still look like myself. I'm wearing it today. I'm sorry if, like, I can't, I can't really tell, but I'm sorry if the, the lighting looks kind of weird. I just noticed that. <laughs> so, sorry if it kind of looks like I'm shaded here and then not, and not, like, <sighs> I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm wearing it today. Um, so the skin tone match is pretty good. It has SPF 20, which I really, really love, and I actually got it for that reason, too, because the SPF can actually make it a little lighter. So I was like, okay, it may actually come out lighter when I blend it than in the bottle. And it actually kind of does. But SPF 20 is really good for a foundation. And then it has the Rice Protein Complex, which is like the shine control in the actual makeup. Now, it claims 8-hour shine control, and it won't over-dry skin. It's lightweight, breathable and it gives a natural look. I'll tell you, 8 hour shine control, I didn't see. Again, you may have to combine the whole line, because of course they're going to make you want to buy everything. But I notice within probably 4 hours, so that's half the time, my nose especially gets oily. Not, I mean, it gets shiny. It's noticeable. 
it's not like, wow, disco ball on her nose, but it's noticeable. Um, and then a little bit on my forehead. I mean, those are my problem areas because I have combination skin. So, like, I'm oily around here, you know, and then not around here. So, my nose especially, I've noticed, just gets shiny, and I don't like it. Um, the coverage is medium at best. It's light to medium because it is a lightweight formula. When you see lightweight, you're not going to get a full coverage foundation. Just please keep that in mind because they want that natural look, as it says, and um, you're not going to get that with something that has full coverage. Full coverage is going to look a little less natural, but um, it is buildable, just not to full coverage. I think it's light to medium coverage at best, which I'm okay with. You know, if I want full coverage, I go for my Revlon Color Stay. You know, for I go for my Revlon co Color Stay whenever I need full coverage or really long lasting. Other than that, I can use whatever foundation I want. It doesn't over dry skin though. I w so I think that claim is true. I do not feel my skin getting dry when I use this. I don't see it you know sometimes when a bad foundation will dry in a patch and then you can see it and it's like kind of cakey and dry and gross it doesn't do that of course I don't have dry skin so it may react a little differently on dry skin depending on the moisturizer you use all that kind of stuff but I don't have problems with it over drying my skin So all in all this is an okay foundation like I said um, the cons are for $14 I don't think I don't think it should be $14 that's kind of high for a drugstore foundation. I mean, I'm sure you'd agree. As well as, it doesn't have a pump. All people on here will always complain about foundations not having a pump, and it's true. It stinks because it's messy, it goes to waste, it can spill. I know you can buy your own pump, but that would just annoy me. I just want the cap on it. So. The other thing that annoys me, I will show you, I hope you can see this, you kind of have to bang it to get the product out. It doesn't just come out, like look at this, it's not going to come out unless literally you kind of bang it on your hand. You can't just shake it, you have to like bang it on your hand. And I'm like, wow, at first when I first took it out, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a thick heavy foundation. So actually that's misleading because it's not. It does feel very natural. I don't feel it on my skin right now. Um, but you do have to kind of make it come out of the container. So just so you have a reference, sorry if the color's a little off, but here is the container. And there is the foundation on my hand. Um, and then when you spread it out, la -de 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 -da 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 -da. I mean, yeah, it does look orange on my hand, but I'm not even blending all the way. So, um, just remember to blend. Blending is your best friend in makeup. Plus, what, what else was I going to say about this? I usually use my Sigma F80 brush, which is a flat top kabuki brush. That's what I love, love, love using for any foundation. Um, the beauty blender works fine too, and whatever other methods of putting foundation on works too. Usually works for any foundation, just find your favorite method. So those are like the only two cons I can really see. Um, pros are the SPF. Um, oh, another con is the color selection. Yeah, not so great. But pros are the SPF. Um, the bottle itself, I, I don't know. I just like how it looks. Um, the feel of it, the buildable coverage. I just think it's, it's a pretty okay foundation. I mean, I've been using it for like two weeks straight now, and I'm satisfied with it. I'll still use it after I do this review, you know? This isn't just I'm, I'm doing a review and then I'm going to toss it out or return it. I'm definitely, I'll still use this. I like it. So I hope that review was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the description box. Description box? <laughs> That's my job. Uh, leave them down in the comments section and I will definitely get back to you as soon as I possibly can, which is usually within a day or so, usually. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you like my Hello Kitty sweatshirt from Forever 21. I just love it so much. It's so comfy. Alright, I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye!